Hello and welcome. I want to show you variables in any land. Let's start by creating a button and when we touch the button a number will increase. To show the number that we are increasing somewhere I will make a text creation with a placeholder and I will use square bracket and I will type let's see this I will type test value and test is the name of my variable that I will be using. Let's increase this and let's make it glow. Now I context laser the cube button and I will say when touched then is test equals test plus one. And I will save this. And now when I click here, you can see the value increases here. If I have two objects like this, they will use separate numbers. So the scope of my variable name test is just this thing. If I want to, I can share variables between any object in the area. In that case, I just need to name it area.test. And test, of course, can be any other name like gold, silver, lumber. And instead of writing area test equals area test plus one, I will use the shortcut plus plus. And this means increase by one. And you can also use minus minus, which means decrease by one. And here, instead of using test value, I also need to write area. Maybe make it prettier by making it lowercase, but it's not needed. Area test value increases here, but if I multiply, 13, 13, 14, 14, you can see it's synchronized. Now let's create a second object and maybe let this one react when this changes to maybe 18. So I will say when is, and my variable was called area.test, when area.test equals, you can use a single equal sign or two as you prefer. Let's use one. When area test equals 18, then play doorbell and become next in one second. And next will be this changed part. And then I will go back to where I was. So 16, nothing happens. 17, nothing happens. But now confirms 18 and it will change. We can also use functions instead of just saying plus plus. For example, we can say when is area test, sorry, then is area test equals, now I will write random between one and six, like for a six sided dice. Now if I save this, you can see for every touch there's a new value appearing. And you don't need to memorize all those function names. You can just use autocompletion when to touch then is and when you type is you get all the features here. For example, random float which would add a floating point random number absolute which would make it a positive number, round which would round the number like 1.3 becomes 1 and so on and so forth. You can page here to see the different ways to assign or to use math. Let's take for example area.test equals 5 plus 3 times 1.5 and then when I save it I get 9.5. You can use the event trigger when is 
or you can use for example when touched and is to combine two. Let me edit this one again. This time I will say when touched and I can use and or I can use or when touched and is area test is our little number area test is over or equal let's take 14 then play laugh then play baby laugh okay let's see if that works we are saying 14 I need to increase this again instead of assigning a fixed number of course plus plus okay 9.5 okay and now I can touch it and I get a laughter let's confirm it will not laugh when the number is below 14 let me make a new button here and I will say when touched then there's a command reset area let me save this I reset the whole area variables and states so this is at zero again and now when I touch this nothing happens because it needs to be over 14 or equal over 14 and now the baby is laughing again what I showed you just now were numbers but you can also use true false states for example let's make this cube and we say when touched then is happy and happy is a state and it's now set to true and let's take another shape and we say when is happy then come next in one second and next will be a little green thing and it will go back in one second so when I touch this it says happy is true and this one says when is happy then change me to state 2 and you can see it works like this the event is always received when the value is changed so when I touch it again it will not trigger again here as usual I can combine I can use for example when touched and is happy then play doorbell and I had to press here first to activate the happy and then place the doorbell I want to show you a bit more of what you can do with the placeholders to show the values that you have let's take another text and we use for example think values And we close it again and thing values means all the values contained in this scope for all the parts of this thing so we have when touched for example then is foo plus plus and now I get a foo value let me edit this again and use for example instead of foo we use gold we say gold minus minus and now whoops small bug or wait oh I understand when a value is zero it will not show in the list because zero is the same as non-existing but now it works 
And if you want to debug and output all the area variables, you will use not thing values, but area values. You can write it in lowercase or uppercase as you prefer. So we still have the area test value from before and it's at one, but any other area value that we use would also show in this list. I hope you enjoy this feature and oh, hello Barry. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial video and see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>